human intervention in ecosystem okay human beings impact ecosystems in several ways we may see in the carbon cycle itself that the excess use of fossil fuels increase the level of oxides carbon and carbon particles so excess means extra increasing of the increasing use of the fossil fuels so many vehicles and so many of us are using the vehicles and from the vehicles carbon dioxide will be released okay so fossil fuels means or petroleum diesel all these things na so both being potent sources of pollution so fossil fuels are the only plants need enough amount of carbon dioxide more amount of carbon dioxide means it pollutes the environment okay so the next one think discuss and write which abiotic components of the atmosphere do you think have been adversely affected by human intervention so which one mostly affected by the human intervention means human uses by which abiotic component abiotic components means what non living things na for example soil water air and then uh, what is that all these are the abiotic components so which one mostly affected the air is affected mostly more carbon dioxide is released in the air air is affected by that which biotic components have been adversely affected by humans so which biotic components biotic components means living organisms like plants animals and human beings so which ones are affected by the humans plants are affected by the humans plants are so many cut off na affected by the humans plants and animals and birds are also affected by the humans let us take the example of a rice farm humans for their own benefits destroy most organisms of the second trophic level second trophic level means what animals okay so not the plants animals are the mostly affected in the rice farm we can see so many animals like snakes or birds or animals so many things but when we cultivate the so, uh, something in the field we don't allow them to come in the field because they destroy the field so the animals are mostly affected by the humans what will be the effect of this on the ecosystem of the rice farm so what will be the effect of this on the ecosystem of the rice farm if you are destroying the animals and everything what is the effect for the rice farm soil will not get the enough nutrients okay so the next one how will the impact of introduction of a new species of organisms into a food chain in a rice farm so new species new organisms also comes to the rice farm means what is the effect what is the impact for example you see for example if 0.01 mg of arsenic accumulates in a rice plant in a rice plant we are using the chemical which chemical we use is 0.01 mg of arsenic okay Accul accumulates means comes in the rice plant due to uses of arsenic containing pesticides it is one kind of chemical we use in the plants whatever chemicals we use in the field or in the field that chemicals are eaten by the plants and from the plants we are eating the vegetables or rice or uh, fruits so that chemicals are entered into the fruits also so that chemical enters our body and we also get the some sicknesses we know that to protect our farms and get maximum produce we use different types of chemicals several of these are herbicides okay so insecticides and fungicides herbicides means to kill the grass also we use the some unwanted plants we use the chemicals to kill the insecticide to kill the fungus we use the chemicals okay so remove unwanted plants growing in farms insects and disease causing macro and microorganisms some of these chemicals are decomposed quickly while several others remain in the soil so after death all these organisms will be die and they will be mix in the soil so the soil also will be uh, affected because all these animals are dying because of the chemicals na so the same chemicals will be mixing in the soil when they die so it it affects the our crops and everything affect our body okay 
So chemicals that remain in the soil affect, often affect the physical and chemical properties of the soil, turning into unfit for our crops. So that chemicals will not give the good crops. It will affect the good harvest. Okay. So conversion of such areas into fertile land is very difficult. Fertile land means which produces the nice crops, good crops, good land. Okay. And so. The chemicals are more means soon it will become the unfertile, opposite for the fertile, all it will become the barren. It will not produce any fruits or anything. So it will affect the environment and everything. For example, you see water hyacintha, one hyacintha plant which grows on top of the water. Na? Some plant, one plant will grow on top of the water, it will cover all the surface of the water. When the plant cover fully on surface of the water what happens the some organisms which live under the water they will not get the oxygen so they die very soon so this hyacintha plant fast growing water plant you may have observed these spread over the surface in ponds and other water bodies of your locality this plant was imported from america to our country this plant was imported it seems from the america to our country so to decorate the like ornaments, ornaments means what like bangles, chain and uh, what is that earrings, these are the ornament. They When we wear that way, we look beautiful. Na? So like that only this plant when it is spread on the surface of the water, it becomes and it looks very beautiful. Okay. So has adversely affected with biotic and abiotic components of several water bodies. So because of this hyacintha plant, since it is covering the whole water on surface, under the water where the some plants and microorganisms are living, they all will be affected and die. Okay. So this is the ecosystem.